Today we listen to The Little Red Hen, an Osborne first reading book. This is the map of the farm, and here is The Little Red Hen. Are you ready? Let's go! Once upon a time, there was a little red hen. She lived on a farm in a little white hen house with a bright red roof. The little red hen had three best friends. Good morning, black cat. The glossy black cat who lived in the farmhouse. A big noisy duck who lived on the pond. Good morning, noisy duck. Quack. And a fat brown rat who lived in the barn. Good morning, brown rat. Squeak. One morning, the little red hen walked to the field. She was looking for juicy worms to eat. She went scratch, scratch, scratch with her small sharp toes and she found some grains of wheat. Hide! It's the little red hen, said the worms. You see? The seeds she found. Oh, she cried. She fluffed her feathers. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Who will help me plant the wheat? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the rat. Fine, said the little red hen. Then I'll do it myself. And she did. Look at her face. She's quite angry. The little red hen packed up the ground and made a hole. Oh, what a waste of time, thought the rat. One by one, she dropped the grains in. The little red hen waited for the wheat to grow uh, all through the winter. First, the shoots were small and green. Look at them. Small and green. By spring, the shoots were tall and strong. Look, tall and strong. In summer, they turned from green to gold. Look. <gasps> At last, the wheat was ready. Will help me cut it down, said the little red hen. But look at her friends. Mm. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the rat. Fine, said the little red hen. Then I'll cut it down myself. And off she went. She did it. She cut down the wheat without any help at all. Who will help me take the wheat to the mill? said the little red hen. I want to grind it into flour. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the duck. Oh, not I, said the rat. Fine, said the little red hen. Then I'll take it to the mill myself. And she did. She took the wheat to the mill and ground it into flour without any help at all. She worked very hard. Who will help me make the flour into bread? said the little red hen. Mm, not I, said the cat. Not I said the dog. Not I, said the rat. Then I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Look at her. She's working all by herself. She baked the bread without any help at all. Who will help me eat the bread? said the little red hen. And look at her friend's faces. The cat, 
the duck and the rat jumped up. Mmm, they said at the smell of the bread. The bread was warm and soft. Mmm, yummy, yummy. I'll eat the bread, said the cat. I'll eat the bread, said the duck. I'll eat the bread, said the rat. Oh, no, you won't, said the little red hen. And what was that? What do you think? I'll eat it all by myself. And she did. <gasps> did they help the little red hen? No, they didn't. So they didn't share the bread. The end.